The sequel to last year's Icelandic volcano is one that's spewing ash ten times what we saw in spring of 2010. It's a real problem on the ground. You couldn't see anything in front of you. We had our high beams on for a little bit and switched them down because it was like being in a snowstorm. But in the air, despite how bad it looks, European airlines had room to breathe. Fortunately, I think we can truly say that the nature of this eruption will not cause uh, similar disturbances uh, as last year. Yes, volcanic ash canceled hundreds of flights over northern Britain. But that's actually a big improvement. Had we had the same scenario this time last year, we would be talking about two to 3,000 flights being cancelled because any part of the airspace that could have any possible contamination would have been closed. Two major reasons for that. One, this volcano, Grimsvat, is acting quite differently from the one that grounded millions of travelers in 2010. The height in the plume is a little bit higher, um, but because the ash particles are much larger, they will fall out more rapidly from the atmosphere. Planes are also taking off because policies changed, allowing flights in denser ash conditions. But it's not over yet. Forecasters predict the ash cloud invades all British airspace, including one of the world's busiest airports, by Wednesday. Reggie Aki, CNN, reporting.